Hello everyone, Rad here from Radsko Tarot and this is going to be Taurus Sun, Taurus Moon and Taurus Rising monthly tarot reading June 2018. So uh, this is going to be four position and hand spread and the first position does expresses up the core, uh, the topic of uh, the month for Tauruses. Second position does shows up the challenges uh, <clears throat> that Tauruses need to overcome. Third position does shows up what is going to help Tauruses move through that particular month and last but not least here we do have the final outcome or the results of all that <clears throat> all right so as it is an enhanced spread then that means that there will be more than one card in position so we do have first the topic of the month for Tauruses and that will be the six of cups with the seven of cups so this is going to be a um how can I place it? This is going to be a rem not remnants from the past, but it, you are going to replay a certain situations from your past, Tauruses, which uh, back in time were poignant for you, but this this time around in June, uh, you Tauruses will have the chance this time to make the things right or to demand from somebody to make the things right and fix the old mistake which was which happened in the past. Very important here is to be very lithe, polite and as well playful all right and in the same time spontaneous so in other words you need to take it uh, take it easy you need to be carefree and you need to enjoy life these cards are pointing that the true happiness for you in june does not come from the big success all right the true happiness for you tauruses comes from the small things in life simple thank you simple smile from beloved one all right or a small gesture of a present etc etc and you have to be grateful for that not not to mention that this is going to be a month where you're going to feel very comfortable with the company of some people that could be from social circle from your social people from your social circle excuse me or in your working place among your colleagues in general <clears throat> This uh, this month for you is going to be a uh, a secondary exam, if you want to say it that way. In case you have failed in the exam, so-called quote-unquote exams from the past, and as well is going to be a month where you can uh, catch up your breath and rest from the shenanigans of life. Then uh, is the challenges of the month, and that is going to be the two of cups with the three of swords huh all right so this combination as a challenges does represent the lack of synchrony with uh, some of the people around you as i said you will find yourself in a lot of such of a situations and you can find sound and safe place among those people but this doesn't mean that every single one of these people you're surrounding yourself with is going to uh, create joy in your heart just on the contrary uh, there will be those that annoys you there will be those which uh, you don't like how they speak and what they're saying statements are etc etc and all this disapproval and 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 um, a lack of synchrony and understanding in between you and certain party of uh, your co-workers or of your social circle and or why not with uh, uh, your beloved one as well you know will create distortion in the communications and as well in the uh, capability to have a, a good and quality time with these people and this is where again the first combo of the cards come in this uh, remember that is a, a secondary exam so you have the chance in this montauruses to really fix those distortions of communications very important here however is not to give a silent treatment as we do have the tree of swords in to a challenging position and it's a catalyst all right that is also very important as a catalyst it means that no matter how painful and hard the truth you have for those people is you have to speak it yeah they could be aggravated and mad right now and they could become despondent regarding it regarding it however they will heal from it and when they return back into the communication thus this time it the things are gonna go much smoother than they are at, until this uh, very moment two of cups here doesn't come as love 
all right it comes exactly as a uh, um, a connection in between people the uh, flawless connection will be difficult guys because two of cups is also about shyness and it is also about sharing all right so this is going to be the problem um, some of you may be shy other may have problems to share because there is something they don't want other people to know about all right but regardless of that once you share it you will lift a, a great burden off your chest and then the next card that is what is going to help you here we have the high priestess with the seven of wands so <clears throat> these couple of cards that does point for the uh, higher knowledge all right or rather like you will be able to um, suddenly share that information if I may say that way in such a way that it's not gonna hurt anybody as I said the information here that you don't want to share rather so it's kinda like you will have that gentle and very and very slight of approach with people and with communications with uh, your bosses colleagues friends and lovers etc etc the two uh, the the high priest this is also a um, acute sense uh, a quality of acute sense of a business uh, of a, uh, a human nature so you you will know know uh, what the people what people doesn't want to hear you will know you know what people uh, how you can get into people as well and how you can hurt people and you will have the ability to utilize every single one of those aspects so the seven of wands here it is just a warning for you as a catalyst all right before you speak think twice even three times you can also um, thoroughly uh, talk it over with someone who is unaffected by the situation, all right? But nonetheless, the last decision of how you want to share certain informations, how you want to interact with certain people, you know, it's, it has to be ultimately your decision. And it is very important here to follow your intuition. So as we do have two of cups, many people will think that this is about love. Well, if it is in case about love, you have to be very aware that that could be past love and that as well it could be a, or a love where you have failed. As I said, this is going to be a secondary exam, all right? So um, if you have loved someone in the past and you have failed in creating a relationship, that could be repeat, repeatance here, all right? Where this time you have the chance to make the things right, but you have to be very careful with your approach so you don't blow the whole thing up. Same goes career-wise. And last but not least, we do have the Eight of Swords as a... Um, final outcome with the five of pentacles <clears throat> so these cards first of all shows that you're going to be able to stabilize the environment in the sense that there won't be too much uh, of a, a changes around or rather like a, a <clears throat> surprises these are not changes but surprises and these are poignant surprises that I'm talking about so uh, what happens here is after you share basically everything and you recuperate the communications in between you and many parties in your in your surrounding in your surroundings excuse me this time around there will be nothing there to surprise you that being said you will be able to sprue your um, your influence all right upon many people and upon many things and upon many circumstances and situations very important as well with the eight of swords here is to be able to uh, look outside of the box you are tunnel visioning something and these cards are saying especially these cards are saying that should you face any difficulties at the end of the uh, of the month this is because you're not looking into the right direction there is something that you are that eludes you around you all right and somehow you don't have an eyes to see it that's why you have to place yourself a little bit out of your comfort zone sources so you can look outside of the box and see exactly what is there for you. So that was uh, your tarot reading for June 2018 Tauruses. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it. And in case you're interested in a private reading with me, everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video. Rod signing out now. See you next time. Bye.